you are. Richard's just brought around this wee beastie to try. Very unusual. 250 quid from Decathlon. Weighs a kilo, not including the pegs, which you've just bought, I presume. Nice wee short carbon fibre. Yeah, poles. A little bit ultra light as well. So that's in 760. 760, something like that, yeah. Poles. Oh, they're light. They're light. And your back. Right, what's that? 280, something like that. Look how thin they are. It doesn't exactly inspire confidence, but carbon fibre, you can only hope. It's also quite difficult to put them together. Is it? So the ends are just rounded metal inserts, same at the other end as well, yeah. yeah. But the pole sleeves are massive for the size of the poles. So they're easy to go in. So easy, they are easy to go in, but that annoys me, because Why? Cause the it, point, it, you've got to get it over through that loop. Probably better to lie the tent flat and it should run through. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a slippy, slippy fabric. Oh, it's so nice. I checked online, it is 2000 mil, isn't it? Hydrostatic yeah. head. Yeah. Which is actually the same as my Hellsport. So the, the fact they say it leaks and all that, I get, well, or they suggest it might, it's probably more to do with the seams if you just tape, um, sew net them. So again, it's like the Hellsport as well. Captive end sleeves just reinforced so it doesn't wear away when it touches the ground. Oh, that was what they said in one of the reviews was that when your hands are slippy yeah. or wet, it's hard yeah. to get that in. It's quite wide. It looks a lot wider, mate. Like high. It looks good height as well. High bathtub. They're double sided. Yeah. That's actually cool. quite good. So it's it. So it pulls the fabric. You know, when you pull it, it, it it's pulling all the surface areas. Yeah, and it, the the fact that it's really wide means it takes the stress over less, uh, over more area. Yeah. So you're less likely to get a tear, which is quite good. So. But it also does have a zip. So how does the zip work then in relation to that? So. Or just if you close it completely? Ah, right, so you can seal it. Right. Ah, right, yeah, so yeah. You so you still get a wee bit of airflow there, yeah. but no chance of rain or or bugs getting in in Scottish conditions. <laughs> it's not, let's face it, it's not designed for bugs. But no. The way they've done this, so that any wind blowing rain or snow it's stops and then runs back off again rather than it going... In. Straight in, which you could do in uh, the Hellsport. The one thing it doesn't have is any hanging loops, uh, like, like, like for it's putting a guy line, you know, like a hanging line. Yeah. Unless you can come up with something. And as you say, there's no no pockets either. Because it is minimalist. Actually, that overhang is very good. It's it's because um, it's quite steep walled. It's monstrous. I'll show you that side. That's a lot less prone to drips and water pouring them when you open it you probably still have to give the door a shake mm. but can the zip go is it one zip that goes all the way around no two no, that's good so you can vent side top bottom yeah. so width wise let's check so 130 from pole to pole but realistically the way the inner Kind of curves away and all the rest of it. I think you'd be probably near a 127. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it ends up with one part of the line flapping about against yeah. them. I really thought about that actually. Yeah, that's the only downside of it doing it that way is you could end up with some loose line. Yeah, the corners as well. These uh, loops are big enough to get pegs in or an ice axe shaft, but not big enough for skis. So, with a Thermarest Neo Air regular, it's touching the ends, it literally is sized for that. They say you know, the width is good. They say maybe a three person as well. No, a two. I, I think that is a, is that a is an extreme shelter. Yeah, extreme. they sell as a two. And I think with, if that's with your mat, and I'm, yeah, it's a short I mean, setting up compared to what I'm used to. It's massive. Yeah, we're just saying there's no side guy in the middle in this one compared to say my Hellsport, but it's got a, I think what they call a catenary cut, so it's curved to create more tension. Aye, so diagonally, we were just saying, I'm five foot eight, so, or both of us are roughly that, and it's tight as anything, that's it, basically. So you'd have to sleep diagonally if you're very taller, to get any more. In fact, there you go, you get an extra foot, probably. But Richard said you could use like an MSR wind burner and just hang a stove at the front of the door and cook. 
so you're still protected at the wind and most of the snow but you can cook safely and get rid of all the fumes quite like the way they've printed the instructions on the ground sheet as well death if you zip it all up death by suffocation do not do this aye not breathable fabric then yeah there you go, he's packing it away into its sweet stuff sack. Yeah, badly. Pull. Yeah, because you're not going to hear out of it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need to roll it from one end towards the door then. Changed it to pouring rain, I've got to get my soaking wet kit. Whatever, dump it out. Oh, the comfort of these is great.